If you're not too sure how you should be potting up and what size pot, then my key to you is just find your pots and put them like that. As long as there's a nice bit of uh, space here to put more compost in, and as long as it's slightly taller than the pot, then then you will be fine. Knock it out of its pot, like so. This is Libertia chiloense. Got nice root system here. You can see it's a little bit matted at the bottom. That's fine, that's nothing to be worried about. So you can either pull it out, which is sometimes a bit difficult, or you can just use a saw and you can just take that bottom bit of root off right the way through down to, you're only taking a small amount off. This is known as root pruning. Um, and you've taken this bit off, that's fine. You've got a little bit of root here, that's okay. It's fine on the top there. Just take off the top bit here. You never know what weed seeds are actually in that top area of where it's been like though, because it's been outside. That is now ready to pot into here. You can see it will go in quite nicely into that container. Take your container, put a bit of compost into the bottom of the container and then drop your plant through. Now it wants to be slightly lower than the actual side of here because if you go and pot it up here, water will just run off over the top. So you want it depressed slightly. And then just go around and fill in all the way around the plant like so. Once you've got a certain amount in, give it a little shake, straighten the plant up, and then you can fill up really well all the way around and get it in. Just gently tap it down the sides there and tap the pot like so. This will get rid of any of the airflow bits that you get. Um, and then that is now a nicely potted up plant and it looks quite different from when it was just one plant in here. It's amazing how they suddenly, once they go into a bigger pot, they suddenly look a bigger plant. And it won't take long for that to root out really well from there. Remember to label your plants again, unless you're not too worried, um, but it's always a good idea to have the labels in there. Thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe to the channel.